Hi everyone, I'm Daniel Vasotis, and today we're looking ahead to the year 2030, when real estate tokenization will reshape how we own property, how we invest in hospitality, and how technology will connect us to real assets around the world. We've talked before about how tokenized real estate works, but this time I want to focus on why this shift is inevitable and how it will change our industry forever. This video is for educational purposes only. I do not offer financial advice or investment services. Any reference to blockchain tokenization or DeFi are purely informational and related to hospitality and real estate innovation. Let's begin with the bigger context. By 2030, digital ownership won't be a fringe idea. It will be mainstream. Over the past decade, we've seen hospitality and short-term rentals explode. Villas, boutique hotels, global travel brands expanding, tech platforms scaling operations. At the same time, blockchain infrastructure, smart contracts, token issuance, and DeFi primitives have matured enough to support real world assets. Now we're converging physical hospitality assets plus digital financial infrastructure, which equals new ownership models. Today, most property ownership feels locked in time. You buy a home, investment property, you have the deed, you have the title, the legal, the paperwork, you pay maintenance, you hope the market works out in your favor. It's illiquid, it's expensive, it's exclusive. And for many hospitality or STR operators, raising capital, gaining access to global investors, or offering fractional ownership is still cumbersome. Tokenization changes all of that. It takes a real world asset, say a villa in Bali, a boutique hotel in Lisbon, or a portfolio of STR properties across the Caribbean and represents ownership, usage rights, income rights, government rights, all as token on the blockchain. These tokens can be fractional, they can be held globally, they can trade subject to rules, and they can integrate with loyalty programs or DeFi yield strategies. Ownership becomes modular, accessible, and, program and programmable. Now, it's one thing to explain mechanics, but why does this matter, particularly for hospitality and STRs, and why now? Let's dig into three big drivers. Number one, access and liquidity. Historically, owning hospitality real estate meant large minimums, jurisdictional hurdles, limited investors, illiquidity until a sale event. With tokenization, a fund or platform can issue tokens tied to a villa portfolio. Investors globally, subject to regulation, can buy in. If there's a secondary market or buyback policy, tokens can be more liquid than traditional real estate. For operators, capital raising can be faster, investor base broader, and stakeholder alignment tighter. Number two, technology and transparency. Smart contracts automate income distribution, usage benefits, governance votes. Blockchain provides an immutable ledger, audit trails, transparent flows. In hospitality operations where revenue occupancy, guest views, asset upkeep matter, tokenization plus real-time data means investors and managers can manage in ways previously impossible. Trust and transparency increases. Number three, Institutional and regulatory shift. Institutions are no longer shunning digital asset infrastructure. They're embracing it. For example, in October 2025, JP Morgan Chase announced it will allow institutional clients to use Bitcoin and Ether as collateral for loans. This is noteworthy because the bank's CEO, Jamie Dimon, has historically been skeptical of crypto, calling Bitcoin a hyped up fraud, a pet rock that Pivot sends a signal. Digital asset infrastructure is no longer experimental. It's entering mainstream finance. And when the plumbing of finance moves, real estate will follow. Let's pause for a moment and map how these drivers play out in the hospitality and short-term rental world. Think of a global portfolio of 50 luxury villas in five countries. You raise capital via token issuance. Each token conveys share of rental income maybe usage rights for token holders, maybe loyalty discounts for stays. You integrate guest booking platform, maintenance costs, guest feedback into overall asset management da dashboard. 
Token holders receive quarterly dividend flows automatically via smart contract. They can vote on property upgrades or sustainability initiatives. You can build a brand around community of token holders who also travel and stay at the portfolio properties. That model sits at the intersection of vacation luxury, real estate investment, digital finance, and travel lifestyle. Now let's examine what the future ownership model looks like, the 2030 vision, and how it's different from the 2025 or the 2020. Ownership model in 2030, number one, Fractional global access. A person in Tokyo might own tokens tied to a beachfront estate in Costa Rica, legally structured, digital, and visible in their wallet. Number two, usage and liquidity. Token holders may receive guest stay credits or bookings or stake tokens for yield or lend tokens to DeFi protocols for extra return. Bridging real estate and digital finance. Number three, governance and community. Token holders vote via smart contracts on upgrades, sustainability goals, or branding decisions. The community becomes part of investor, part and guest experience member. Number four, blended capital stack. Funding includes traditional equity, tokenized units, perhaps stablecoin debt, guest staking, loyalty discounts, operators combine real estate and digital finance strategies. Five, reporting and transparency. Real-time guest data, occupancy rates, maintenance costs, asset valuations, all available via dashboard. Token holders might see performance metrics from day one, not waiting for annual reports. But with great opportunity comes real challenges, and it's critical to understand them honestly. Key considerations and risks. Number one, regulation and legal framework. Tokenization of real estate often crosses security laws, property laws, regulation by country, hospitality license. Legal structure needs to be ironclad. Number two, operational risk. Hospitality is an operations business, guest service, local reg regulation, STR bans or licensing, maintenance costs, market cycles. Tokenization doesn't eliminate these risks. Number three, liquidity expectations. While tokenization promises secondary market trading, in reality, liquidity may be thin initially. Investors must understand lockups, redemption policies, and exit strategies. Number four, technology custody risks, smart contract bugs, blockchain platform risk, tokenization transfer issues, custody solutions, identity, KYC obligations. Number five, misalignment of incentives. Ensure token holders incentives align with operators. If tokens convey usage rights, income rights, conveyance rights, structure matters. Number six, valuation and market cycles. Real estate value growth still depends on location, management, and macroeconomics. Tokenization is a tool, not a guarantee of performance. Okay. Now let's return to the institutional angle because this is where your credibility and future hospitality growth meet the finance world. Going back to the JP Morgan example, the fact that a major global bank is willing to accept digital assets as collateral signals that the financial ecosystem is preparing for a world where real world assets, including real estate, are represented digitally, traded globally, and leveraged for financial innovation. This trend gives tokenization, the tokenization model for hospitality deeper legitimacy. So what does that mean for you? Whether you're a hospitality operator, short-term rental investor, or fund manager, or someone curious about tokenization, actionable insights for today. Start educating yourself on tokenization structures, how tokens are issued, how platforms manage rights, and how compliance and KYC work across borders. Review your hospitality STR asset pipeline, types of property, location, operations, track record, guest experience, legal, regulatory environment. Map how a token holder journey might look like. Purchase tokens, earn yield, get booking access, vote on decisions, exit via secondary market. 
Explore technology platforms that support token issuance, investor onboarding, smart contracts, digital reports, usage rights. Consider benefit engineering. If you tokenize your assets, what additional value can you give to token holders? Loyalty stays, experience, governance, unique travel benefits. Observe regulatory developments in your markets and how hospitality STR regulations intersect with digital asset regulation. Now let's zoom out again and ask, what will the hospitality and STR landscape look like in 2030? Here are some projections. Hospitality brands may issue tokens tied to their real estate portfolios. Guests may earn these tokens as part of loyalty programs. Short-term rental operators could partner with digital asset platforms to raise capital and offer fractional access to investors and travelers. Travel ecosystem integrations. Tokens may act as access rights, usage uh, credits, trading units, collateral for travel financing. Sustainability and community impact will be embedded. Token holders may vote on property upgrades, community engagement, local partnership, ESG metrics visible on chain. Capital markets integration, real estate tokens may be accepted as collateral in DeFi or institutional loans, just like JP Morgan, crypto collateral example. Effectively turning hospitality real estate into a, dyma a dynamically financed asset. In short, tw the 2030 model is fluid, digital, global, flat, fractional, and integrated with guest experience and investor participation. It's not just how can I invest in a villa, it's how can I own, use, trade, and experience property in a digital ecosystem. Before I wrap up, let's bring one more practical example into view. Suppose you operate a portfolio of boutique hotels. You could structure a token, let's call it Hotel X token. Here's how you might design it. Each token represents a share in the revenue yield from the portfolio plus one free stay per year at one of the hotels. You create smart contracts. Every quarter, income is audited, converted, and distributed to token holders. Token holders can vote on choosing a new property location, a renovation plan, or service upgrade. You list the tokens on a compliant secondary marketplace, enabling token holders to trade if they want to exit subject to lockups and liquidity rules. You integrate usage rights. If you hold 500 tokens, you get VIP access, discounts, maybe loyalty points, convertible into stays or experiences. You tie in sustainability. Token holders can elect to direct a portion of hotel profits into renewable energy upgrades, on-chain metrics, show carbon reduction, token holders may earn bonus yield for meeting sustainable st sustainability targets. This is the hospitality real estate future. Assets plus experience plus digital participation. And that brings us to closing thoughts. Real estate tokenization is not just a buzzword. It's an innovation that's already being applied in hospitality and short-term rental real estate. And it's worth understanding if you're running or investing in this market. It holds promise for fractional ownership, liquidity, global access, and new business models. But it requires sophisticated structuring, strong operations, clear regulation, and aligned incentives. If you're involved in hospitality, STR, real estate investment, or the intersection of blockchain and real assets, now is the time to educate, experiment, and plan for the 2030 horizon. The future of property ownership is coming fast. And by 2030, you won't be asking if tokenization will happen. You'll be asking, how can you participate in it? Thanks for joining me today. This channel is for educational purposes only, helping you understand how hospitality, real estate, and blockchain are merging into one ecosystem. I'm Daniel Lasotis. I'll see you in the next video.